welcome to jj tech um welcome to my youtube channel um today we are going to be building a shipment website that looks like a fedex website this um i have to state it very clearly that this is for the sole purpose of learning for the sole purpose of designing and for the sole purpose of um of exploring designs and so on um this is not this is basically for um sole purpose of study of um is basically for educational purpose now um <clears throat> i'm going to be showing you how i designed a fedex kind of website a website that looks like fedex a website that has the the, the kind of fedex background um from we are going to be doing it from we are going to be taking it step by step seeing how to use the script seeing how to build it seeing maybe creating some trackings and seeing how um it looks in the tracking side too that's the track the tracking page of the particular shipment or create a shipment and see how it is there here yeah, so um so the first thing that we have to do is um this is your c panel now this is your c panel i'm using a subdomain here um if you are if you are building this for uh, a new client or, or you are building it for yourself on a very fresh c panel that's if c panel that you just purchased and has no um no previous domains subdomains or anything connected to it this where, where you be right now yeah it's your public domain is your your public html sorry now the first thing you have to do is to upload the script now let's go to upload click on upload let's upload that particular script into the c panel okay let's go to desktop fedex and there's the there's the zip file for the fedex now let's start uploading um how i make my videos i make my videos easy in a way that um learners can like new people that are new to designs can actually to, to design in a web design and development can actually follow up with the video and be able to actually get something done so um now you're uploading a script into your c panel what you have to know about this is you have to let it count like till the end to 100 percent then even when it's at 100 percent do not cancel or do not close this particular page um it, this color that's blue now that's loading it has to be green that signals you that you are good to go your upload is done like your upload is actually complete yeah so for people that are that um are coming across this video for the first time or this is your first video or you're trying to design something for yourself please take note of that thank you so now it's it's uh, it's an hundred so we are going to be waiting for it to give us a full go ahead to actually um proceed okay very good very good now that's the very first step that, we, that i have to do now um let's let's go back to our c panel now before this was the only thing on the um c panel now you have uploaded your script you can find this now the next thing you have to do is to extract this zip file you just uh, you just uploaded extract there there are no um no words that are very like um that are very complex it is simply extract or you can say you are unzipping it this is a zip file right now you have unzipped it now this is the folder you just unzipped now you just open it now let's click on the folder let's see okay this is what is inside now let's select all then move to your you are moving it out of this fedex folder right now so you you click on this fedex you clear it out then you move it to the main public html now we are using webtech dot 
alitechforyou.com that's what's going to be the name of this particular website that we're trying to build right now so on your own for your own case it might be www dot any name you you actually bought like your domain name but this one is a subdomain so for people that know how subdomains work this is a subdomain for the sole purpose of this training so let's see what we have let's see what we have let's see what is on uh when people click on our domain let's see what they what, what they are seeing right now let's see what this script has given to us very good now this is what the script has given to us a site like this you can see this um you can see the ad fedex now for your usage or as you are trying to maybe do something as standard as maybe a fedex website this website here is completely different from the fedex website on on their end it's completely different from the fedex website but maybe you are trying to do something that is um that's up to the standard of a fedex website you like the color you like the background or something you can use this 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 the only thing that um actually brought about this particular shipment website is the color the app the layout of everything and even at even on that the footer is not like fedex as you can see here so it's just um designed with um with the idea of the colors and some of the pictures from fedex now this is what we have this is what we have on our website right now this is what we have on our website right now so um the next step is to connect database of this website so that um you can actually go to the tracking and see how tracking looks like yeah so um what you have to do is you have to go to the main okay you can just click here and you go to the main c panel um the first thing you have to do is to go to my SQL database wizard click on it now let's create a database for our website uh, let's see okay that's web tech web tech uh, database The next thing we have to do is to create a visa name. Let's see web tech visa. And let's come to the password. Now this is a very very sensitive place. What we have to do is to open our notes first. Now why why are we opening our notes? This password that is here, we have to copy to the notes. There is the password generate generator here. Um let's generate can copy this then click i've copied this password in a safe place you open your file you copy that password now you can see the password is very strong because this password generator generated the password for you so click on create visa now you click on all privileges here um next next step good our database has been created now you copy this database here the both the user name and the database name come to your notes and you put it here now let's we have created the database let's upload the database before we connect the database now let's upload it let's go to my let's go to php php admin to connect it all right 
right now let's look for the particular database that we just created so that we can upload an sql file to it um now there's a lot there are a lot of database there are a lot of databases here so let's look for our database we just created web tech database now this is it we found it the next thing we have to do is um import it import our sql file for this particular um website i'm trying to do um Now this is this is the um there's the SQL file that comes with it. Now I have to upload. We have selected it. The next thing you have to do is to go. Let's see what we have on our database. Now we have uploaded our database successfully. The next thing we have to do is to connect this particular database. Now how do we do that? We we'll go to our file manager. Um yeah. We'll come to our DB that's database let's edit very good now this is where you connect your database how do you connect your database everything you copied while you were trying to um, create your database the password the visa name the database name now this is where everything comes to use now um let's see what we have here we have the username the, the password sorry let's copy the password um this is the password please let's put it there let's copy the username let's copy it properly this is the username it needs to be here Okay, there's been some error. Okay, all right, let's copy, it. let's do that again. Let's change the database name also. This is the database name here. Okay. Okay, this is the visa name. Let's put it on the database. Now let's get the visa name. This is it. Alright. You're good. This is the visa name. Now let's save that. All right let's see now because without the database this track it won't, it won't work so let's see now if we have connected it properly all right very good i've connected it properly now this is how the track page looks this is how the track page looks now let's go to the admin part of it let's create a tracking number and let's see how it's how it shows in the um when, when we track actually let's see what shows let's see how it is um now we, we have to take 
wave take now this is slash track we have to turn it to wave take uh, ali dot ali take dot com slash um admin very good now where do we get the um where do we get this form where do we get the old um password username of the admin form we go to php my admin the database you created for this then go to admin click on the admin part to get your visa name and your password for this particular for the admin as you can see admin is the username is admin and the uh, password is one two three four five six let's do that admin one two three four five six now let's log in let's see what we have okay now we are going to be using this to test what we have there to see how our tracking page looks like so we we'll track now let's see what we have yeah very good let's see what we have here can you see um very very good so when when you are using you can fill all this destination with product and everything and it looks like this now this is picked up can you see it has been picked up now very good so you might be building this for a client and they say they don't like the color you just what you have to do is just change the color the script comes with its own css page and everything you just have to change the color change this logo but the tracking system works perfectly well as you can see it has live tracking also as you can see it here so that's all you just have to do it's a very 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 powerful um scripts for tracking shipment purpose as you can see it carries the fedex body and so on but um now this is it at the top at at, at the very most top here there's the location of the company there's the um email the phone number so as you can see it's, it's all looking very very good so um this script is available when you come to my whatsapp i can't give um a free access to this particular script you check my whatsapp number below this below this um video description on then in the video description you see my number you see a uh, Instagram um, page, um, the link. You see the link to the Facebook page. It's JJ Tech. Any other number, any other person that messages you on that or replies your comments, and it's not verified that it's from us, that person is not from us. Please check very well before you contact anybody. Be careful while you contact anybody. This script is available um you can send a direct message and this script is actually available and it is for sale it is not a free script um it is available for the rate of twenty five thousand naira. the script is available thank you very much um please do like subscribe and comment on this video if it has been of value to you so that it can reach others also so that um people can also people can also um, come across this video and can also be of value to them too thank you very much thank you for watching this video thanks